what, what we're going to do is a little bit of catch pass stuff. Um, we're going to keep it quite simple. So the focus is going to be on <coughs> early reception. An early reception for us will mean, uh, if we're facing this way, is taking the ball here. So let's open the top half of our body out to take the ball early. Okay? And so if we can take it there and keep it square, pass the ball across our body, we should get a good delivery out of it. Okay, and what people will tend to do is they may even try and get their hands out early, but they'll catch it here, which means they have to do this and this, which is a lot slower. All mm -hmm. right, so we're going to have a bit of a focus on that. Very simple stuff. See where you're at. Uh, depth is applicable to your skill set. So, what do we mean by that, you reckon? Depth applicable to your skill set. How fast you are, how far back you need to be. Yep. Anything else? Okay. Yep. So ultimately, if Jamie's really skilled, he can take the ball a lot flatter and get the ball out of his hands. So he can be closer to the opposition, which means he's going to threaten more. If if Jamie isn't as skilled and I run really flat outside him, I put pressure on him to try and get out of his hands quickly because he's got less time to get the ball out of his hands. So we want to set our when we're going to catch pass, set ourselves in a position where we can take a pass, give a pass, and same with the guy outside us. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk a bit about that outside. I'm going to give you an example here. You watch these guys, uh, they take the ball reasonably early uh, and they get the ball out of their hands quickly. This is a prop with a little basketball pass. Quick hands, quick hands, guys in space. Okay, so you'll be expected to pass that well in about 30 minutes <laughs> or so. Okay, um, when we go out, we're going to also do a little bit on um, what we see, vision, decision. I was trying not to say those words. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of draw and pass stuff, which will involve a bit of footwork, um, a little bit of acceleration to commit defenders, put others in space around us. I want you to have a look at this clip. So this is not perfect by any means. Have a look at this. I'll, I might ask a question about what was good, maybe what could be better. What was good about that? Sucking the defender and then work the ball out. Yep, so those first couple, you can have his lights back on, please, guys. Those first couple of guys have committed defenders to create space around them. So they've done that pretty well. The second guy accelerated to pull that defender in. It was good enough to get the ball out of his hands. So the guy jamming in. What, what, was, what was the issue? Drifting. Why don't we score? Drifting. Yeah, we were drifting across a little bit. But we still get ourselves in a position where we should score. What are those lights on the field? Yep, could be all of those. Oh, sorry. Yep. What area the ball carrier is trying to do? Sorry? On the switch. Yeah, maybe. What, what, he's, what he's trying to do here, what's he trying to do to this guy? Yeah, so he's, he's trying to threaten him. This guy's a little bit unsure what he should do. So what, what does he want from this guy? He wanted him to stay out. He ended up coming under, back to where all their numbers were. He was going to keep running. As soon as that guy turns in, he'll let the ball go. Okay, so it's not real square running like we may encourage at times, but this is what often happens in our game. So him understanding what he was thinking, what is the difference between scoring and not scoring then? What an underslide will be, just come across the feather. Say Jamie's in possession. No, he's got a little bit wider. Jamie carries the ball into contact. Running an underslide or a downline, whatever you want to call it, with me, me running right here, try and take the defender out, and then stepping in for a short ball to try and get him to here. So I may, I may not breach the line, but I might get him behind me, give us a chance to get a quick ball. So we'll do a little bit of that stuff outside, and I'll show you an example of that. Can we have the lights again, please, Dave. Or so looking at this, look at this big fella here. 
running with two hands, many changes in one, evasive. So we're looking for guys who can use a bit of footwork from 1 to 15. You watch the same thing end on and watch him read the body shape. So you see that guy's trying to push on him, but he runs, steps, and then he ends up offloading. Good way around sideways. And when we look here, there it stops. Um, the others line example is here. So a little tip onto a guy running short into an angle and then he gets a chance to get an offload away and get him behind. 